guys, what is going on? Rye Guy Rocky here, and welcome back to another episode of Area 31. So, last time, last time, we planted a trap at Tyser's base, and according to you guys, unfortunately, it didn't work. Now, of course, it was all payback because he planted one at my base first, but, you know, that... That, that's how things work. They don't always work. His didn't work on me and all that. But I have done a lot of aesthetic changes to the base as well as some other additions which you're going to find out momentarily. One, I made a power fist and put a lot of stuff on it. I'll show you this. I'll show this off in a sec. But I'll show you some of the aesthetic changes. So, um, open. Close. Open. There we go. Uh, so I basically went in here and got rid of all the ores on the walls. I missed the dirt. That's going to bother me. I'll fix that later. But, um, and made it all stone. Did the same thing in here. Uh, if we go up here, uh, which still needs some work in here, but if we go to the missile silo, there's a missile here. Uh, it's a nuclear cluster missile, but I also built another missile silo right here with another nuclear cluster missile, and I put those there. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, but there's some stuff upstairs that I found to be really cool. I'm happy to have my Hydra head back. Thank you. Um, oh, and there's something else I made, um, but I'll, I'll save that for the end. And we'll, uh, you'll, you'll see some of my future, uh, plans for people when you see what I have, have made evilly. Super evil. Uh, but yeah, so I made this little walk path. Now, if you guys don't know, um, I decided to go outside and basically I added these lights to the runway, um, which come with the power fist. Again, I'll show that off in a sec. But I decided to make a little walkway into my base. Now, the reason I did this is, one, it looks so cool. Um, and two, I mean, come on. So I had to actually spend, like, I don't know, it took me probably at least three to four hours. I went around the map, and I went to get every single cross memorial that I could find. And, the, or not cross memorial, these, these ones, the character memorials, but for some reason they say cross memorial and I hover over it like that. But... It took me so long to find all these, and I was—I actually have one extra that I found, but I didn't end up using him. I wish I had one more because I could have extended it a little farther, but oh well, this still looks cool. And I put fire on the sides, and they're burning, and it looks so awesome. Um, the other thing I did was obviously add the lights, and uh, well, did I really do much up here? Not truthfully, except for add the second uh, missile silo and stuff like that. So yeah, I did a lot of uh, cool things, but I also did a lot of power armor work today. So. Uh, once this rain stops, I'll be right back so we can show off the power armor because I don't want to be doing this with, you know, with rain noises in the background and such. It would, just, it would just get annoying. So one sec. Be right back. Ah, okay. Now it's a nice day outside. So let's go off and show off the power. Now, you guys really haven't seen my power armor or how it works, but don't worry. It is incredible. Now, many of you were saying that Tyser has guns that are going to go right through my power armor, which is fine. But step one is he actually has to hit me. And I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And hear me out for why. So if he's going to go right through me, I didn't even install armor because, or the plating. Because if I did, I would, I can run so much faster without it. But why even worry about running when if Tyser's going to aim at me, I can do something called teleporting. That's right. I have a, installed a blink drive. I could go over there if I wanted to. I could go on top of the tower if I wanted to. Oh, I missed the tower, but y you get my point. Like, let's go up there to that expl- Oh, that seems to be too far. Um, yeah, there is a limit to what it can do, but you can see I put myself on the tower. So if Tyser's attacking me, I can go here. Let's say he's over there on that wooden thing. Well, guess what? Now I'm behind him, and I can hit him. So, some pretty insane stuff, if you ask me, this blink drive. It is incredible. Now, I might install armor on my power. I, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But, yeah, this blink this blink uh, drive is awesome. And it eats up a ton of power, but is so worth it. Uh, let's go to the next thing. I've installed a saw module. It shoots buzz saws. That's really it. Next, it, I don't want to use this one too much, is the rail gun. Now that you can see, it generates a ton of heat. But it does a lot of damage. But it also is good at launching you in the air if you need to do a quick dodge. So, like, if he's going to attack me, if I do that, it launches me sideways. Uh, but it does a lot of damage. You also have this thing, which I call the... It's called the plasma cannon. I call it the big boom boom. Basically, you shoot it. And boom. You can fire little ones. You can fire big ones. It doesn't really matter. And you can see, it's really cool. Uh, besides that, we have this thing here. I haven't... Oh, this is the... Uh, this allows me to basically edit my stuff. Um... 
If we go here, I have a wrench, which allows me to rotate different tools and such. This is probably one of my favorite ones, and this is the light module. I shoot it, and it creates a light wherever I want. Now, if we go into this thing that lets me allows me to edit the fist, I can actually go ahead and edit the light color. So if I want my lights to be, for example, a lightish blue, I could turn up the green here, and then we oh, and then we uh, we give we go back to the light module and fire, and look, we have a blue color. Oh, there was a light there. Uh, but yeah, we get a bluish color light, which I think is really cool. And you can change the colors of the lights. It is your choice. Now, I break really fast, by the way. But I gain my power back so fast, it doesn't really matter. Um, what else? Uh, I have the shear tool, so if there's sheep, I can shear them. Or if there's leaves. Is there a tree I can test this on? Or if I use them all? Aha, I see a tree. Okay, so this one's going to be cool. So if I wanted to shear this leaf, I could just by right-clicking it, or left-clicking it. Yeah, left-clicking it. There we go. I also have this thing, which I'm not going to use right now, but this one basically allows me to travel through dimensions. It'll automatically bring me back to my house no matter where I am, so it'll teleport me right to that house. I have this here, which this is insane. It, it takes so much power, I can't use it yet, but wherever I'm looking, lightning strikes. That's really it. Can't use it, though. Uh, flint and steel module allows me to light fire wherever I am. This one's cool. It's called the leaf blower. If I right-click with this on a leaf, look at that. All the leaves are gone. And I don't like these leaves. Look, they're gone. Now we each have a dead tree. So that's my, one of my personal favorites. And this works on grasses. So if we go to grass. You know, look at all this grass. Gone. So I can remove grass so much quicker this way. And so, like, see this field of grass? Yeah, I could clear this up pretty quick. So I just right-click there. Look at that. Right-click there. Right-click there. Look at it all. All gone. Uh, and then the other thing it can do is not just grass, but, um, oh, this is cool. One minute. Let's try so if I do leaves, it removes it all. That's so funny. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the other thing we can do is let's go over to the snow biome because it's the best place to test it. It can clear snow. So you can see how it's clearing the uh, top layer of snow there. Not the snow block, but the little like layer snow. You can see it removes that as well. So it's able to do that. Now, these are ice blocks, so I don't think I can tree ice those. But let's make this forest blank if we really want to. We can make a dead forest and just deforest this whole place. Just a fun little fact. I'm starving. Um, I should probably get food. No, stop. Don't take damage. Come on. Ugh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Ow. Oh, it launches me straight to the ground when that happens. That's not good. I gotta be careful. Okay, let's go get some food before I die, and then we'll show off the rest of what this baby can do. Ugh. Run inside. Gotta get the food. How did I... I always seem to forget food in videos. It's like something I never think of. Um, beef. That's not what I wanted. Uh, uh, um, uh, steak, steak. I do got steak. Awesome. Okay, that was a close call. So, um, let's go ahead and eat all this up. And let's show off the rest of what this baby can do. So, the next thing we have, well, I haven't really tested this one either, so I don't know what it does. I just installed it. So, this is going to be a new experience for both me and you, but let's give her a try. Okay, and what? Oh, I thought it changed the time of day for a second. Uh, or, oh, it's an ore scanner. So if I right-click the ground, it will tell me what's there. I see. And it uses some energy to do that. That's awesome. Next, we have the crafting table. So if I wanted to craft something, I could. Um, after that, and oh, and after that, we have this thing again. So I can basically be like, Zweep, I'm over here. And then one of the other things I installed, which I can't quite find... Uh, I know this one ready. Oh, see so this is this is the one that's gonna bring me should bring me to my bed Every time I've used it. It has so that's why I assume it does. Yeah, see look and I'm in my bed again um, The next there's one of them in here, which oh is it this does the ore scanner uh, in here What it does is I can set teleport points and it will teleport me from point a to point B and So I set them in advance so I could have a teleport right to Tyser's base and he would have no idea um, and that's that's one of the other things my favorite though is still the blink drive because if I need to quickly He's shooting at me. Well look now. I'm in here Tyser. Where'd I go? And he won't see where I teleport so then like if I have to fly out, you know Hey Tyser guess what I'm behind you give him a few hits. He's dead. Okay, so overall I am getting ready And the reason you, I'm saying Tyser is because me and Tyser are obviously at war. He's he tried to bomb me I tried to bomb him. It's it's war at this point point. Um, and one of the other things you guys says I need bullets for these things and I don't know how to craft them and I haven't really looked into it too much, but but yeah. So, besides that, if you guys didn't know, my power armor, I used to have uh, plating on it. I removed it. Though I might add it back depending on what you guys say. Because I'm pretty sure bullets will um, 
bullet armor will uh, stop or armor will stop bullets. I'm pretty sure it will, but let me know in the comments, guys, below. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, one thing I really wanted to test in this episode is I have another nuclear cluster missile. I want to test fire one. Where, though, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing it right over here. Uh, like, right here, away from the base, far enough away. So, here we go. Uh, oh, I showed off my... Co you know, everyone knows where I live at this point. I don't care. Uh, so three four four four. So we'll just do slash three four four four. There we go. And slash two two eight four. Um, and that's all we need to know. And the Y was eighty something. But yeah. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows where I live at this point. Cause um, well except for Snake and Jimmy. They they haven't been here. Team Underdog has been here. Jack has been here. And Tyser has been here. Okay. So that means. Oh, snake. Okay, looks like I'll have to black that out then, if I remember. So if it's not blacked out, guys, well, don't tell snake where my base is. That would be, that would be great. If you didn't tell him, that would be, that would be fantastic. Thank you. That's if I forget. I, I'm good at remembering, so I might, I might remember. Maybe. Uh, so why did I go to all the way back here? I was about to launch the missile. And um, I have no idea how powerful or weak this is. For all I know, this could blow up my whole base. Uh, and it was okay. That. There we go, and it was um, that. There we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is going to be scary if this doesn't work. Here we go. Let's test it. Test it. Oh, please don't hit the wall. It didn't hit the wall. Okay, so it is. it did launch correctly. You can see the missile right there. It's going up. Come on. Oh, it's, it's arcing down. Here we go. It's going in for the kill. We'll stay above where it's going to hit. Oh, did it hit? I lost sight of it. Did it blow up in midair? Or did it hit? Oh, it hit. It was delayed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. It, oh, it's a cluster missile. So it, it, it clusters around. So you can see how it's blowing up things all the way even out here. Like single blocks and such. That's crazy. That's powerful. Um... That's really, really powerful. I want your hat. Give me that hat. Suspicious hat. I want that hat. And it puts mycelium here. Um, that is just insane. Wow. I did not expect it to be that powerful. But that's good, guys. That means uh, we have an actual formidable weapon against Tyser. And this uh, one launch of these puppies and... He's gone. So, that's really it for this episode, guys. Uh, shorter episode, just wanted to go over some stuff. But thank you guys a bunch for watching. And as always, stay beautiful. And peace out.